So are you interested in making video games? Do you want to make beautiful video games? Do you want to get a job making video games, make video games for a hobby, move abroad, work in AAA, whatever, but just get started at video games? Well, then this video is for you. I'm Rahul Sengal. I'm the founder of Gamer to Maker, India's leading online game development platform. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you 10 practical tips that are going to help you to get started with game development. This is stuff that I I've learned this is stuff that I teach my students this is stuff that I've actually used this is like practical stuff not theory this is how you can get started and build a good base in game development so let's go all right so tip number one is start small now one of the biggest mistakes that beginners make is trying to create a massive and complex game right out of the gate right start with something simple start with simple projects to learn the basics of game development small games will help you to build a strong foundation for tackling bigger challenges i would say start your development work with simple game like tetris or even a flappy bird clone with some pickups and shooting because these are the best for noobs especially if you started using a new tool now these classical games have all the ingredients for a successful game now is it any wonder that they were so successful they have a game loop which only ends with the user quitting the ability to make it more attractive using visual features and animations and difficulty levels that are pretty straightforward yet teach a lot to the developer so always start and try with a game tetris or flabby bird it's totally doable and offers a thorough learning experience okay please don't do multiplayer as your first game some of you want your first game to be grand and you want to be you know, want, want to build something awesome and you want a multiplayer game and it ends up in development hell being way out of your league skills wise creating a game is hard creating a multiplayer game is a whole other nightmarish beast please don't do it also when your game is done it's way easier if just one person can just pick it up and play instead of say four persons needing to sit down all at the same time and play don't get me wrong i know you have the potential okay i know that you want to make a badass game but remember a lake is formed by one drop at a time okay small steps are eventually gonna combine together to produce a polished product by focusing on the current step and phase of the project you are much more likely to not only complete the project but also avoid burnout tip number two you don't need to code if you're not a coder that's absolutely fine i would recommend at least trying it but if coding is something that has been holding you back there are lots of engines you can work with which don't need to code to make your first game for example unreal engine which uses blueprint which is a visual scripting tool you can use g develop godo engine construct 3 game Editor maker and others so research and choose the one that suits your project's needs and your skill levels many many engines offer great beginner resources and tutorials tip number three you don't need a lot of money or very fancy gear to make a game all you need is to have a PC or a laptop, understand the game engine, research the game engine and make sure that your PC can actually run that game engine and that's it. You don't need to spend money what you do need to spend is time because this is going to be a very time consuming process you don't even need to spend money on assets don't worry about it you just download assets from the asset store or free asset packs from anywhere worse come worse you can spend five ten dollars on some assets that you really really like put them in your game and just build it you can even download music for free you can use assets for free you can use user interfaces free don't about don't worry about all that stuff don't worry about money just concentrate on building your game number four and this is really really important keep your goal in mind your goal in the beginning is not to make money with your game it is to learn so start with the expectation that you're doing this to learn the process of making games and not to make money or become famous okay it doesn't matter who else you heard about that made their first game and got really really famous do not keep that expectation in your head okay now this is going to take a lot of pressure off you as 
as your first few games are not gonna have much chance of looking awesome or making money. So just chill and concentrate and try to enjoy the process of learning. It is not gonna be easy, but it will be satisfying. This much I can promise you. Tip number five, make some documentation. Now, I know that a lot of people nowadays say that a game design document is not required, but they are just plain wrong. You're going to have a lot of ideas in the beginning and you're going to be forgetting some of them as you make the game. You can make a simple GDD, which is game design document using tips that I have explained in this video right here. Also remember that if you ever want to get a job at a game studio, this is a must have skill. You need to know how to make documentation, right? Also, if you ever want to grow and make bigger, more complex games, you will definitely need to learn how to create and use documentation. So the best time is to start small on a small project, right? So remember, a document is really, really important. Next, remember that your plans are going to change. Now, while having a dinosaur shooting laser beams out of his eyes is a super cool idea, it may need to be put away for your cozy home decor game. You'll have to scope down or scope up your game ideas. You, you're going to have to cut down some features or add new features to add quality of life improvements to your game. Your planned game may not be same as the game at the time of release. This happens to everyone, not just you, even AAA games. Now, this is totally fine because you will probably have to cut down some mechanics to make it easier for you to develop that game at your level of skill and to make it on time. Now, sometimes while you're planning your game mechanics, you know, they may sound cool on paper, right? But when you actually develop them, it may not, they may not feel so cool as it felt on the paper. So you'll have to make some changes, cut some things to actually make it fun. The point is that plans change, games evolve, and you and your project will grow alongside one another. Next up, complete your game. This is super, super important. Okay, Your only goal while making your first game should be to just complete them. Again, don't worry about making money from them. That most likely is not going to happen and it will just stress you out immensely. Try not to give up on your game midway though. There is immense value in going all the way with your game and getting experience with all the steps. It's about problem solving. It's about overcoming difficulties. And that is what a big part of game development is all about. You might fall and you might fall hard. If it happens, it's not fun, but it's very, very normal to experience failure in a project. Now keep pushing and realize that every failure is an opportunity for you to learn for your next venture. Now, I would strongly advise that once you start a project, just do some work on it each day. Do not think of making a game longer than three to six months right your first game should be done within three months maximum six months not more than that spend about 20 to 30 minutes a day four or five times a week possible till it's complete now take a break from the project a short break when it becomes hard when you get stressed and then renew yourself and then get back into it conclude this point do not give up to whatever it takes get help find mentorship find a community overcome your difficulties finish your game project make the best use of your your unique strength as a game creator. Now, if you're good on the art side, use your strong sense of art direction and work in genres where that is going to stand out. If you're a composer of music, think about how the soundtrack can really enhance the game experience. If you're great at puzzle design that designs some incredibly elegant and interesting mechanics and inter interactions etc you cannot be the best at every facet of game creation there will always be some areas where you will need to keep things simple or find a teammate a game may well contain art sometimes 2d and 3D, some visual design, some interaction design, some coding, writing, mechanics design, voice acting, acting direction, music, sound design. Nobody is top tier at every single element. So choose your strengths and focus on that. Next, play testing. This is very, very, very important if you want to learn how to make good quality games. Now, play test as early as you can and with a range of people of different skills, skill levels. Now, you'll be amazed at how things that seem really 
very obvious or logical or easy to you but absolutely impossible for some other people to do or how it's possible to find bug by doing things in the game you'd never even thought to try you can then adjust the difficulty or put clues or guidance in the game where needed once you find out how other people are reacting to your game play with your friends play with other game developers play with your family remember we see each other as allies and not rivals take the honors reviews and feedback and keep polishing your game next up have fun because this is not just work this is your passion okay creating games can be hard but a lot of fun very very satisfying and a very very fulfilling process if you let it be be inspired by the games you love and the community that surrounds you in the beginning like i said don't worry about money don't be you know worrying about success and how many downloads you're going to be getting just build the game okay next and last Tip number 10, try to be part of a community where you get support and mentorship from game industry veterans, from professionals and also other game developers who are more advanced and experienced than you. This is massively going to help reduce your frustration because there'll be many times you'll we'll be building the games and you'll be stuck and you won't know what to do and you will not need to ask for help and you may spend maybe weeks on the internet trying to find that specific answer and that can be very very frustrating. Now, a great place to find mentorship and to be part of community is Gamer to Maker. Our courses are 100% online. You can take them while studying or working and also they are recognized by the government of India. So do have a look at the website. The links are in the description of this video. And there you have it. 10 essential game development tips for beginners. I hope these tips inspire you to kickstart your game development journey or help you refine your existing skills. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting game development content. Also follow me on Instagram. There's always something happening there. And if you have any questions or you want to share your own tips, just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and happy game making. Let's go.